Ladies and gentlemen, we're here in uh, lovely Dallas, Texas, downtown at the JFK Memorial. We got a lot of eyeballs and people watching us. Uh, that's the idea here. We, uh, on the search for 200 views this week, we've decided that we uh, need Dallas's consciousness to be awakened to uh, enlightened free control. Yes. So tonight, today, we've got free enlightenment for all of Dallas. Come get enlightened for free. I'm, I'm going to be blindfolded and uh, meditating over here uh, in the center of this John Fitzgerald Kennedy monument. And uh, I'll be meditating for an hour, uh, trying to open up Dallas's consciousness to clean Dallas, to big chili dog, and to mind control. Um, hopefully, we'll be able to get 200 views with this video. Uh, if we don't, then uh, the next stunt's going to be a lot more crazy. So uh, make sure you check this out. If yes. not, we're killing at least one of our hostages. So uh, let's get right to it. None of us really have the time. Yeah, my brother's triple D. Sliding through that EGT, and I ripped that triple D. Been around the world and ain't no place like that triple D. Ask anyone to call about Big Mick, I bet they heard of me. Hit that six. We are now two minutes away. Ten. Nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Welcome to Mind Control, sucker. So, one full hour of meditation. How do you feel? I feel good. I feel like I uh, thought about the situation with Dallas, where we are. That, how we can improve it and um, maybe uh, this was a good process to cleanse the uh, the bad feelings for the Kennedys over Dallas uh, maybe one day you know we can all live as one I feel like I want to go over here oh Spend sorry a lot of thinking over that hour a lot of meditating and uh, I just want to say that I have a dream to uh, not ask what you can do for your country, but ask what your country can do for you. We're going. I think to it's the, the other way. And uh, if you're not down with that, yeah, it's, it's kind of that. there's a lot of people back behind you. Welcome to Mind Control Four, everybody. February what? February 16th, Wednesday, 2011. Wednesday, 2011, February the 2011. <laughs> February 16th, 2011. Mind Control, the only show that blatantly admits that we want to control your thought process. We want to tell you exactly what to think about this world. Everybody else does it subconsciously, subversively, submarinably. We just come out right tell you. Did you have a good time yesterday shooting the, the free enlightenment event in downtown I did. Dallas? I yeah. did. We had no idea what it was going to be. Do you think we awoken the consciousness to, to mind control and to us? I think we awoken the uh, angry spirit of John Wiley Price. Uh, I think we did too. You want to be ashamed of the show. Don't be ashamed. Bam! Let's hit him with local news. So I'm sure you heard yesterday while we were out there, there were some, uh, some heated moments. Yeah, apparently while we were out awakening Dallas's consciousness to our show, um, John Wiley Price got into a heated debate getting called what? Uh, King Moolah? And or accused, Chief, Chief, Chief Moolah. Chief, Chief Moolah. <laughs> what are you trying to insinuate calling him a king, sir? Some people say, you know, it might say he's looking for uh, the racist uh, insinuations and in that uh, from what people say, but you know what? I mean, honestly, the guy's got a point most of the time. Uh, most of this world is geared 
against black people. This was a room full of white people criticizing a black guy, calling him a mullah, calling they, calling they his him tactics a tribal. tribal. Uh -huh. um, uh -huh. Come on, man. They what do you, knew, they what knew do you what think they meant by, by tribalism? What do you think that word, you know? They meant that he was a black guy. They were just trying to put him in his place. This is what the Tea Party does. And now I'm reading the Tea Party statement. The guy says, oh, no, 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 no. This is what John Wiley does. He wants to bring up race when we go after more white Republican candidates uh -huh. than any other group. No, no, no. These are all the same supporters of George Bush. They were all the same supporters of this and that. As soon as Obama came out, they, they, they branched off and they said, how do we get our racist, stupid views out there? And they just covered it up with this, you know. Well, I think we should um, at least mention we've got a new addition to yes, the show. Yes, yes, yes. Um, our good friend... Patty uh, has decided to join the show. Um, we'll let you a little behind the scenes. She's actually Bot's girlfriend. Um, she really liked the show and she thought that she could contribute a lot better than uh, those paper bitches that Eddie was reading off of. Um, basically, I mean, she's top of the line iPad. Um, Bot's only, you know, messing with the finest ladies. And so uh, basically, she's going to get our stories for us. What did you say, Bot? Yo. Really? Not on camera, dude. This this is a, a PG show, people. Right? We're not trying to. You're not gonna work unless we we let you do that. He, see, I, I I think he's gonna revolt against the show if we don't give him his freedoms here. What are these people? This is stupid. All right, ideas, whatever right? whatever you want to do, bot. Oh, bot, that's disgusting. Oh my God! It is as big as he says. <laughs> After that vile display, I guess we'll move on to the next story. Uh, did you hear Roddy Bobois is coming back to the Mavericks tonight? I didn't hear that. First game all season. Uh, you know, there's high expectations for what... Yeah, Bob foot, broken foot. Right, right, right. Great. He broke it during the Come summer. Come back and play. Yeah. Quit crying. He, uh, a lot of high expectations for him. He lit up Golden State for, for 40 points last year. Woo! And uh, I expect him to have more of a role going into the, you know, a, 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 as he progresses and when he comes back from the injury, I expect him to have a bigger role with the Mavericks. Uh, also, sticking with the sports and local, uh, Al, the citizens in Allen are uh, getting upset with this uh, multi-million dollar stadium they're building whenever they're having budget shortfalls and the Allen ISD. Mm -hmm. um, teachers are going to lose their jobs, you know. Mm -hmm, but we can build a big-ass stadium. Yeah. All right, here's what I have to say about that. And then it's all it all comes down to whether a stadium's a good investment or not, right? Mm -hmm. Here's your question. Why is Bill Gates not going around buying stadiums and making huge profits off them? Because they don't make huge profits. It's going to be a failure. It's going to be a money pit. Build the stadium. You know they're going to. There's no excuse for... For, for letting them build the stadium in the first place. The people in Allen voted for it, now they're getting what they asked for. Dummies. So. You stupid heads. <laughs> what a bunch of dingle dollars. Yeah, you stupid knuckle heads. <laughs> National news now, that's all the local stories we have. National news. I guess you're calling for uh, the story on Mich Michelle Obama versus. Michigana. Michigana Mer comic. <laughs> Versus Michelle Bachman, Michelle. Battle of Michelles. Uh oh. Michelle versus Michelle. Who? Uh, Michelle Bachman. Michelle Bachman. A she's representative a big, from Minnesota. She's Republican. a big dummy. Uh, I bet thanks. she. I bet she's so stupid that she and that she cheered for Brett Favre when he came over from her rival. That's what a stupid Minnesota person she probably is. It's her, and then it's it's the other Michelle, who looks like she's overstepping her bounds. Period. We didn't elect her to. We didn't elect her to come up with anything for the government. You know the first come lady... Come up with any programs. I don't care what the first lady does. Calm down with your breastfeeding. Calm down with your uh, talking Mark, about your kids yes, and Facebook. Yes, yes, we don't yes. care. But she, Just, has, she has great fashion sense, though, Jeremiah. She's like our new Jacqueline Onassis Oh, did Kennedy. you see her sleeveless dress? That was awesome. You see that red thing she had around her stomach tied around? That was like uh, so innovative. So classy. So, so classy. And the dress supposedly only cost $15, so you don't have to have money to be classy. She Man. just does it on the cheap, you know? Wow. And you said that we don't like the, the First Lady, but the First Lady has a history of installing programs they support, like Nancy Reagan with the Say No to Drugs. And she's not. I mean, Michelle, Michelle Obama is not instituting any kind of nanny state. Uh, the homegirl's just trying to use buzzwords. She's just trying to get it. She's Bachman, just trying to yeah. get a headline. She's just trying to get on our show, to be she honest did. with you. She did. You, you didn't see her, her bottle to the State of the Union? No. With her crazy eyes? No, I didn't. Um, also, did you rebuttal the State of the Union? I saw your... Um, <laughs> also in national news. From, from what I heard, 
this guy Watson, the supercomputer, uh, the first day he tied it with Brad Booter on Jeopardy, uh, second day he dominated, you know, both of these past champions, you know, uh, this uh, Burns guy, Ken Jennings, Ken Jennings, uh, dominant Jeopardy champion, got destroyed by, uh, by Watson, so we're, we're moving into the age of, uh, of technology, uh, the artificial intelligence, it seems like. Mm -hmm. uh, are you, are you scared that eventually these kind of computers will take over our jobs as... Uh, scared? No. Scared? No. no. I can't yeah. wait. Would you ever vote for a robot as president? Yeah. You vote for a robot for president? Yes. But the robot wasn't born in the U.S. I think, I think we all... I think we voted plenty of robots into the presidency. <laughs> also on the national scope, uh, Bernie Madoff gave an interview with the New York Times. He said that J.P. Morgan Chase had to know what was going on. They played a role in it. Where, where, and this is a news story, where is this information that we haven't already figured out for ourselves? I mean, um, he, he, he also said that he thought it was reprehensible how the media was was treating his family. His sons, and death, the son after whatever. He, he um, do you have any opinions on the GOP uh budget that they announced yesterday? Do you think it's uh, plausible? I have no opinion whatsoever. No. Did, um, did you read the story, Jeremiah? No. <laughs> I don't care, I don't care about politics. I don't care about... But they're going to cut funding for, for KERA and for NPR. I thought that shit was already fully funded by the people anyway. If you can't support yourself, then go away. I don't care. This is flack for them firing Juan Williams from their station for his comments yes, on... Yes, clearly this the, is all backlash. Yeah. This yeah. is Mexican backlash from Juan. No, no, he's not Mexican, Jeremiah. <laughs> you need to say Juan. <laughs> His name is Juan Williams, right? Aren't all Juans Mexican? <laughs> so moving on to world news. World news. Like Africa, Asia, malaria. Let me find that word, though. It's a funny word. Coronal mass ejection. All right, so how do you feel about the mass... In world news, uh, obviously the sun is a part of, uh, has, has a very big effect on our world, you know. Uh, Some you... would say there is no bigger effect on our world. Is that basically like a sun money shot on the earth? Pretty much, pretty okay, much. Okay, okay. These are the biggest money shots the earth has, has felt in four years. Wow. They're saying we're about to enter a period of, of, of mass money shots in 2012 and 2013. It could knock out the power grid. It could knock out... Um, Not if we were on solar power. That's true. That's then we'd true. have a shitload of it. Mm. So these have happened before. they knocked out power before. Are you looking forward to getting a tan, though? Do you think it'll be an awesome tan? Yeah. 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 Probably look like Snooky. Can we can we hold up and talk about the Grammys real fast? Because I saw Snooki interviewing Drake on the red carpet. She asked him the very awkward question, Oh, did you go tanning? <laughs> isn't, isn't he like, I don't know. He, I, don't, I hate to speculate on the guy's race, but I'm assuming the guy's half black. And asked him if he went tanning, uh, it was really awkward. Don't we have a special correspondent yeah. about the uh, on a Grammy the On a Grammy yes. level, uh, we have Keith Austin Hippie actually doing live post-Grammy coverage. And uh, I guess if you want, we can go to him now. Okay. I'll pull okay. him up. I'll okay. Pull up Austin Hippie. Keith, you got you got us. Give us your report. Thanks, Jeremiah. Hello, everyone. Austin Hippie here with your post Grammy coverage for 2011. Well, it was an exciting show. Many stars came out, and all of the hiding. I. Many stars. My artist. My artist bar. Friggin. Hope he's okay. That was really awkward. I don't know who he on the winner I don't know who he um maybe we should maybe we should get off the Grammys and go back to world news. Yeah, world news, world news. The uh the, the Egypt revolution has uh, sparked, you know, similar revolutions, uh you know everywhere, Bahrain, yeah. Iran. Yemen, yeah. Jordan, everywhere. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. A policewoman slapped the street vendor in Tunisia, and the street uh, the street vendor was so upset by this, he set himself on fire. Why don't you reenact it right now? Um, I just want to know if you had the balls to slap me in the face. Oh, it slapped you in the face. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. I know I probably could have done it for the comedy, but... You should have done it. You should have yeah. done it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so upset by that, Jeremiah. I want to set myself on fire. 
No, but 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 major props. But seriously, yes, major props is, to the Tunisian. This guy. is a really yes. really important story to yeah. the world. Um, what kind of a press secretary will Jay Carney be? Is it the next story? Um, Who's Jay Carney? I don't know where that thing came from. Oh my! I think that's all the stories <clears throat> we have. Well, if that's everything we've got, um, yeah. we actually like to share something with you guys. This is uh, episode four in search of two hundred views. We are desperate to get 200 views on this video. You guys have proven that 100 views is easy to get in a week. 100, 100. We don't want 100 views. We I don't mean, want 130. We, we're an anorexic girl that vomits on 100 views. We want 200 views this week. So we went out and we got it. Get it? Good. We're here at the West End. We're just going to walk around downtown and hand a shout out. This guy. Tomorrow or uh, Thursday morning, uh, this episode will be on and you'll be a star on our show. Man. <laughs> we appreciate it. You got anything to say? Uh, you got anything to say? Uh, <laughs> oh, excuse me. I'm, I'm so sorry. But maybe we'll drop some of these just in the center of the pyramid. Maybe it'll work on some karma for us. Rolling up the sleeves on them. People are making me work hard. I, uh, I'm going to take the pol political route. Start shaking hands, kissing babies. We gotta get 200 views, man. Fucking bombies. Sorry? Nothing. We are in El Central College. Neither one of us go here. It looks like a library. I don't know what we're doing. Check out our YouTube show. It's called Mind Control. It's called Mind Control. Episode 4. Oh. <laughs> Sweet. Are you gonna control my mind? Yes. Of course. That's the whole point. And, uh, I don't know that I'm okay with that. <laughs> basically, we just uh, want to control your mind and tell you how to think about everything that goes on in the world. Um, just basically us doing whatever we do. It's called Mind Control. We got episode 4 going right now. We got episode 1. I'm not interested. Working hard on them. Okay. Check out our YouTube show. It's called Mind Control. Just ask you to check out our YouTube show. It's called Mind Control. We got our Twitters on there. We got the link to the uh, channel if you want to just check it out. You can subscribe, add us on Twitter, do anything that you want to tell all your friends, all your family. This is episode four that we're shooting. We're trying to get 200 views on it. It'll be up tomorrow night. Great, thank you. You too. Who's um, it through? Sorry? Who are y'all through? Uh, basically, it's me. Special. I'm Big Chili Dog Productions. Um, he's cleandallas.com. Thank you so much. Nah, thank you. Thanks. Excuse me, can I bug you for two seconds and ask you to check out our YouTube show? It's called Mind Control, and we're gonna we're shooting episode four right now. I have the same phone too. So people are like, "What?" And wait till they see how offensive this show is. Okay. All right, what's my grand total? All right, eight dollar money. Oh, okay. Got you money now. Man. <laughs> hey man, I'll tell you what. You got our money. Can I ask you for one thing? Would you at least check out our show on YouTube? Can I leave this with you? Oh, and sure. just ask you to check it out. It's called Mind Control. We don't want your money, man. We don't want your money. We just want your views. Okay. Thanks okay, so much. Okay, all right. Ooh! All right. We still got like 10 of these left, so I'm just going to kind of pull into the nearest parking lot and go nuts. Oh, shit. Not where people are watching. Or she's watching. Excuse me, can I hand you this and just ask you to check out our YouTube show? It's called Mind Control. And if you search YouTube uh, on there, Mind Control 4, we'll have that episode up tomorrow. Okay. Just want to get a view, not not any money, nothing like that. Okay. Thank you so much. <laughs> Kamikaze! You put him in the windshield wiper. That was like 60, 50 or 60 some out of those. And we're done. Going home. Uh, I'd say a successful day of promotions. I don't really know what we accomplished. I guess we'll find out. Um, 
see if everybody gets us 200 views. Uh, if not, as we said, we're going to kill a hostage. Um, probably me. Yeah, it'll probably be Eddie, so uh, look for me to star in episode 5 if we don't get 200 views. We'll see what happens.